we're back in the office. Been up the caravan this morning. Man, it's cold up there. Expecting snow this week, but that isn't the subject of the video. The subject of the video is hookup cables. And not all hookup cables are the same. So stay tuned and I'll show you what I've found. So let's talk about hookup cables because one thing that we all know is we don't have to get a service or an electrical test on a caravan. So it doesn't matter how old that caravan is, one year, 10 years, 20 years, you don't have to get an electrical test on that. So how do we know it's safe? The other side of it is caravan sites, if we're using a hookup to cable, are classed as special locations and they have additional earthing requirements to make them more safe if you like than uh, a general external supply and that in itself is the site protecting itself from us you them the caravanners that don't look after their own kit and also they want to look after other people on the site they don't want your caravan tripping the whole site off if you trip your caravan off then and it's your problem then it's your problem but they don't want you to be tripping the whole site out so uh, the the other thing that that really surprised me was that hookup cables are the only thing between that site supply and your caravan regardless of whether you have a test on your caravan that doesn't actually need a test ever so the question is how do we actually know that that hookup cable is safe and we, we know we can buy from ebay uh, different types of cables different thickness of cables 1.5 2.5 heavy duty thick cables thin cables brown blue green you name it you can get virtually anything uh, but we don't know under any circumstances whether that cable when it comes to you whether it's safe and that's what I want to talk about because I found something while I was up at the caravan the other day uh, that that didn't shock me uh, because I spent my life as a, you know 25 28 years as an electrician uh, doing loads of testing inspections on cables and installations pack testing you name it everything in between uh, so it hasn't surprised me but it's something I wasn't quite expecting so first of all the hookup cable itself so if we buy a, a standard hookup cable from uh, a caravan dealer or get it brand new from a caravan manufacturer um, we know that we're actually getting something of quality you know no caravan dealer is going to put the neck on the line uh, that, and give you a load of rubbish that's going to going to cause any problems worst of all uh, trip out or burst into flames uh, but they can only be sure to a certain extent and we don't know how long a caravan cable is going to last because it depends on its use if you're using it on a site where you're only ever on gravel it never touches grass it never gets wet it's never in the sun um, it's going to last a lot longer than uh, someone like ourselves who uh, with the other caravan we had it plugged in on the drive it was there all year round it was in the wind the rain the sun the snow it, it very quickly became uh, not so much orange as a pretty yellow colored cable and you can see this has been cut and the reason it's been cut is this cable is exactly well give or take a month uh, three years old we bought it when we uh, when we got our uh, Eldis 454 and this was a 10 meter cable the the caravan came with a 25 meter cable which is the one I've just been showing you and we bought the 10 meter cable because we were hooking it up on the drive and we wanted the cable we're going to use all the time but what we have been doing is taking it to site 
uh, to use as a shorter cable because plenty of places you go you don't need a 25 meter cable and you start rolling it off the drum and 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 doing all the things that you need to do uh, by the way I'll stop there because there's another video at the end of this if you want to go and watch about hookup cables that was done by Lost Weekends uh, Phil did it about three years ago I will link it in the description below which will talk about how actually to hook up your caravan in a safe and proper way but anyway back to this one so yeah this cable is uh, is three years old in February and it's bought from a reputable caravan dealer uh, from their accessory shop uh, it wasn't exactly cheap it came with the proper you know splash proof connectors on the end no, nothing uh, as a shortcut as far as things like eBay are concerned it's 2.5 uh, millimeter stranded core cable as you would expect and after just three years I'm hoping this will actually zoom in and show you he says will that zoom in and will it actually focus he says let's try that way see if that will focus you can see there's a slight discoloring so you've got like yellow browny orange back to yellow the yellow is the discoloring the brownie orange is actually a raised uh, you, it feels like braille on the cable and it is the only spot throughout the length of a cable but ordinarily a spot of brown on the cable will show that there's something inside of there that isn't actually doing its job something has broken down so regardless of this being a a, a good quality cable from a good supplier uh, it's given up the ghost and I suppose it doesn't matter what you buy that can always happen everything is uh, electrically in this country everything's made to a standard but you know like a fridge like a microwave like anything that plugs in to the mains uh, they can all fail and it may be the cable that fails, it may be a component that fails, it could have been for any reason why this has failed. Maybe this has sat in water on the drive for too long and that's what's caused that to happen. Who knows? The, the fact is, it has happened. Now, from my days as uh, someone who's done a lot of part testing, an extension cable would normally be tested in an office, a school, a hospital or whatever at least every year and the first part of any inspection of a cable is basically to check the cable itself that the the cable is in a good state of repair that is it's got no dinks cracks chunks out of cuts and no marks no marks that show sign of the actual copper core inside having any form of degradation so this video is really an aid memoir to remind you that cables do not last forever and periodically they need to be checked i would suggest that they checked at least once a year and if you're using them on sites where you're dragging them over gravel hard standings where they're going to be sat maybe in water uh, they're going to be open to the elements for longer periods of time particularly maybe with seasonal pitches you may want to check that cable more than once a year and simply by just looking down the length of the cable it sticks out like a sore thumb if there's any signs of burning on the cable itself and this unfortunately it has but it's only three years old so to, as, an, as a little note to self uh, I've been through both of my other two cables uh, just to check the full length of the cable to check the fittings you know and we can check these to make sure none of these are cracked around the joins or around the actual around the joins here at the, where the, the two come together or anything having got into maybe showing signs of overheating within the pins themselves so that's it for this video check your cables and thankfully i saved 
myself from getting to site and this causing a problem uh, hopefully it's an aid memoir so it won't happen to you either right that's it thanks very much for watching you take care stay safe and we'll see you in the next one Ta-da!